Welcome back to Things on Cars. You probably didn't think you needed to know, but I did. And I have a camera and a microphone, so we're in this together. That's Rosie. She helps me out. Today we're looking at suspension from the inside. Amazing. We're going to talk about drive shafts, okay? This is a front wheel drive vehicle. Actually, I think this one might be all wheel drive. Just means that these shafts are on the front and back, okay? The details don't matter. And again, if you know exactly what you're looking at, my content not for you. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's content for you, okay? Ask lots of questions. You don't know the names of these things unless you were taught. So, like, you can call it the spinny thing. That's cool. The rubbery thing with the ribs. But, you know, you know. I mean, mechanics, we have a lot of fun. We do, we do. Anyway, what does a drive shaft do, you say, okay? So this is a drive shaft, that's a boot, there's a shaft, okay, that shaft connects to your wheel, which is like, would go exactly where I am, to your transmission, okay, the transmission just like on your bicycle con controls the gears so that your engine isn't like, you know, in first gear going uphill or not downhill, it doesn't matter, anyway, the point is from your transmission to your wheels, you need something to turn it, that's what the drive shaft does, the reason it has this ribbed rubbers because there's actually a flexible joint in there because your suspension also moves up and down but also front suspension definitely turns the steering wheel so there needs to be a flexible joint in there and if there's a flexible joint there's definitely grease um and to keep that grease happy and exactly where we want it to be there is a protective boot so if this boot cracks okay um, they will likely suggest that you need to replace it, they being a mechanic, if you take it in, and over time these will make noise if the boot cracks and the grease leaks out. Sometimes these can go without the cracking though. Anyway, it doesn't matter. If they call this a drive shaft or a CV shaft, which is a constant velocity shaft or a joint, same thing. This is what a CV shaft looks like. 